Welcome to the VOSI testing class. Today we are going to introduce a core concept of this class, combinational ATPG. This is our cross row map. We have already learned many important background about testing, including for simulation and uh, testability. Now we can move on to the core of this class, which is combinational ATPG. So why am I learning this chapter? Automatic test pattern generator help us to generate high quality test pattern. And what is more important, we can use automatic algorithm to help us to remove human efforts. Here is a quotation from Brian Marik. He said that testing a product is a learning process. I think this is a very suitable quotation for this chapter. Testing a product is not a simple task. We should learn many important background knowledge so that we can know how to test a chip. There are many different test generation techniques. In this chapter, we will focus on single stock F4 model for combinational circuits. The other topics will be covered by other chapters later. In this chapter, we will give an introduction about test generation. Then we will go into details of many different deterministic test pattern generation techniques. Because ATPG is a very slow process, so we need acceleration techniques to speed up the process. Finally, we will conclude this chapter. Here is our motivating problem again. Given this circuit, your manager asks you to generate a test pattern for output stock cat 04. So what is your answer? Please note that there may be more than one correct answer. Now please pause the video and uh, come up with your answer. Have you got the answer? Because we need the one at the output. So both the NOR gate inputs must be zero. Therefore, A can be zero and EF must be one. So we can choose B to be one. So here is one of the test patterns. Please note that other answers may also be correct. From this motivating problem, we can know that test generation is not as simple as simulation. Here is an analogy. In traditional algebra, given a function f of x, and given the value of x, we can easily find out the value of x, of x by substitution. So simulation is something like substitution. It's a relatively easy task. However, given the function and the output value 0, please find the solution of x. This root finding is a very difficult task. Even for this simple polynomial, we cannot find the root using a simple calculator. So this is a relatively hard problem to solve. Test pattern generation, or TPG, is also known as test generation. It generates test pattern for a given fault model. Generating a test pattern for a fault is shown to be an NP-complete problem in 1975. This is essentially the same as the satisfiability problem. For example, 
If we want to generate a stochastic zero fold here, we will need to find input such that the output k is equal to one. So this is an essentially satisfiability problem. In the worst case, we will need to try two to the number of primary input assignments before we can find a solution. Therefore, it is impossible to do it by human effort. We need automatic tool, ATPG, to help us. ATPG is basically a very large decision problem. In this binary decision tree, in every level, we have two decisions. For a variable A, we can either assign it to be 0 or 1. Every time we split this decision, the tree would be doubled. So the decision tree is exponential in size. And we want to find a solution at the bottom of the tree. There could be one solution, many solutions, or even zero solution at the bottom of the tree. So this is searching a test pattern in a huge tree. So ATPG needs smart heuristic to speed up the process. Basically, there are two methods. The first method is to prune impossible subtree as soon as possible. For example, in this search tree, we can see that there is no solution in the right subtree. So we can simply prune the right subtree. It, we can do it as soon as possible. We can save a lot of search time. On the left subtree, we will need to find necessary assignments as soon as possible. For example, if we can know that B must be 0, C must be 1, then we can search for this solution very quickly. So basically, these are two important heuristics in ATPG. Now that we know ATPG is a decision problem, we want to know how effective is the search. A complete ATPG algorithm can exhaust the whole search tree, which is exponential in size. If a test pattern exists, the complete ATPG algorithm will find it for sure. For example, in this tree, even if there is only one test pattern, the complete ATPG algorithm will find it. On the other hand, incomplete ATPG does not exhaust the whole search tree. So maybe there is one solution, but the incomplete ATPG cannot guarantee to find it. For example, suppose that the incomplete ATPG does not search for this subtree, then it cannot find the solution. Of course, complete ATPG consumes more CPU time than incomplete ATPG, so this is a trade-off between CPU runtime and the fault coverage. An ATPG tool is actually a very complicated system which has many components. For example, at the beginning of ATPG, it needs to pass the netlist, create the database, perform design rule checking, levelize the circuit, and so on. In the pre-process stage, we need to perform for collapsing, test stability analysis. These two topics have been covered in our previous chapter. After that, we also need to do some learning 
and redundant fault identification. In the test generation stage, we can have random pattern generation or deterministic test pattern generation. Finally, in the test compaction stage, we can have dynamic test compaction or static test compaction. These two topics will be covered in the test compaction chapter. In this chapter, we will focus on the highlighted components only. Here is a typical flowchart for random pattern generation. After the pre-processing stage, we will start to generate random test patterns. We force simulate these random patterns and we drop the detected fault. If the fault coverage still improves, then we go back and uh, generate more random patterns. If the fault coverage does not improve significantly, then we move on to deterministic test pattern generation. The idea of random test pattern generation is because there are many easy to detect faults at the beginning. So we generate random patterns and uh, select those patterns that detect undetected faults. The problem with random test pattern generation, of course, is that fault coverage can saturate after those easy faults have been detected. We talk about random pattern resistant fault in our previous chapter. After the fault coverage saturate, we still have a big gap between our satisfactory fault coverage and the current fault coverage. These faults are due to random pattern resistant faults. So we would need to move on to deterministic test pattern generation. In this flow chart, first we select a target fault and uh, we perform deterministic test pattern generation. If we want to perform dynamic test compaction, we would look back to select the next target fault for test generation. After we finish this loop, we will move on to exfilling fault simulation and then drop the detected fault. If the fault coverage is not satisfactory, we will loop back to select more target fault. Otherwise, we would leave the test generation stage and move on to static test compaction. And then we finish the ATPG system. In conclusion, in this video, we have shown that test pattern generation is an NP-complete problem. A complete ATPG algorithm guarantees to find a solution if it exists, just like this picture. We also introduce both random pattern generator and the deterministic test pattern generator. The former does not have any target fault. Just like this picture, we throw out a lot of darts, hoping that each of the dart can hit something. On the other hand, determinist test pattern choose one specific target fault at a time. Just like this picture, we throw out one single dart to hit the target. This is the end of this video. Thank you for listening.